Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna do a ranking of all the current star players that are playing right now in the playoffs. And I'm gonna do this in order from who I think is the best player to the worst player out here. We have superstar, high-end star, low-end star. That's pretty self-explanatory. So we're gonna hop right into this. And for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Let's go. Jalen Brunson. Um, obviously you're the first person we're gonna start with. So obviously I can't really rank you right now in terms of in order, but I'm putting you at high end star. Reason why I'm doing that is Jalen Brunson in this postseason has been playing like a superstar, honestly. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna overreact, but definitely a guy who at one point I believe maybe still is leading the league in a postseason scoring right now. I mean, that's a guy right a hey, high end star for sure. Um, so I'm gonna put you right there. You're carrying the Knicks. Jason Tatum's very interesting because Jason Tatum is the is the guy that's like this is the superstar threshold right and he's always and he's just he keeps tapping on it but you're always curious like is he gonna break through or is he gonna stay under it and I you know honestly it's a great question because they be saying like Dante DiVincenzo or like Derek White has more 30 point games or something like that than Jason Tatum in this postseason the Celtics had the easiest walk to the finals I have ever seen. Jason, I'm going to put you at high end star. Boston fans don't come at me. You are probably going to be at the top. Maybe not. I don't know. But you are for sure the highest of high end stars. Tyrese Halliburton. Um, you know, people, you know, I'm, I'm going to put you. I know they're going to they gonna come at me. I'm going to put you at low end star. They're going to come at me. Indiana fans will come at me. I don't know. I mean, he, he's played well. I think they do have a Mickey Mouse road right now. You know, the Bucks were hurt and then the Knicks are also hurt. Um, and I need to see a little more, I feel like, from Tyrese. You know, he's, you know, he leads the league. I believe he led the league in assists this year, which is, it's dope. But I don't know. I, I don't, I don't trust, like, in the West, would he be that guy? That's how I usually judge my guards. Like, in the Western Conference, would you be a starter? If you're a starter in the West, you're likely a high end star, superstar. But if you, in the East, it's not it is the, the talent level ain't as strong so i'm just like i'm gonna put you at low on star for now it can definitely change maybe on the postseason but i'm put you there jalen brown i'm gonna put you you know jalen brown's tricky jalen brown's a tricky guy because he is a very I'm, I'm gonna put him at the bottom of low end i mean high end because he's a guy i really feel low end in a way because i don't know but but he has i think he's had enough experience in the postseason i think he's had I'm pretty sure he's been an all-star a couple times. I'm going to put you at high end, but you're probably at the bottom of that. You got to develop that left hand. Luka Doncic, I'm going to say we got our first superstar. Um, Luka Doncic is a superstar. I don't know who said he wasn't. I think, did, did Gilbert Arena say that? I don't know. Someone, no, no, Gilbert Arena didn't say that. Someone said, I, I heard some podcast saying that like, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't Gilbert Arena's. It was some other podcast. So I'm sorry, Gilbert. Um, saying Luka ain't a star or a superstar. I think Luke is definitely a superstar player. Um, his talent level is insane. And, you know, he hasn't played like a superstar in this postseason. But definitely in the regular season, he's the guy who can always win MVP anytime. Um, he usually doesn't have the team record for it. But, you know, he has the ability to win MVPs because he's so talented and so great at scoring. So I'm going to put you as superstar. Um, Shea Gilgis Alexander is interesting here. He's not a superstar. Now, people might think he is. Oh, he's third in MVP voting or second, wherever he was, second to third in MVP voting, whatever. I mean, Paul George was number three, and I never put Paul George as a superstar. High end stars are perennial all star players, and I think Shea is that, and he could maybe, maybe he can be a superstar, um, but high end star, I, I put him in high end star. He's ahead of Jalen Brunson for me. He's ahead of Jalen Brown. It's just, is he ahead of Jason Tatum? I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say, Jason, you still to me the peak of high end star player, right? Shea is really good, but Jason Tatum with his experience, I mean, he's as inconsistent as can be. But I mean, this can change. This can definitely change in the postseason. But I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it where it's at. Um, Nikola Jokic is the best player in the league. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. He's the best player in the league, and he's not the best player in the league because of his defense, like it's just total package. He's not the most complete player in the league. But his offense is so ahead of I think everyone's offense in the NBA, to be honest. That it, it like it it his mediocre defense is saved by how historically great his offense is. His offense. Like imagine your offense is at a hundred and your defense is at fifty. But people, some guy offense may if someone has an offense of like sixty five and a defense of sixty or eighty, like you're still below, you know the math. So yeah, 
he's a superstar. He's the best player in the league. And hey, he definitely could be champ again. This one's interesting. We have an interesting one. Anthony Edwards, to me, is not a superstar yet. He has superstar potential. He got the aura. He got the game with the athleticism. He got a lot of like some of those Michael Jordan traits, you know what I'm saying? And he's fun. He's a fun, easy player to root for. I had a debate. It's Jason Tatum, Anthony Edwards, who's better? I'll, I'll tell you because this is this is interesting. If I could pick a player, I would pick Anthony Edwards to start my team with over Jason Tatum. I'd probably take Anthony Edwards because I, I just love his game. But I'm going to say Jason Tatum as of right now because I don't know. Anthony Edwards, they it's it, they haven't won the series against the Nuggets yet. Like They had a 2-0 lead, and now they things are looking iffy. So I don't know how that's going to end. So I, I'm not – if he loses in the second round, like what, 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 what am I saying? What are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? So – I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump forward. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit back and wait what happens. But Anthony Edwards, I'm putting you at high end star. I'm gonna put you below Jason Tatum. I'm gonna get Kyrie. Kyrie Irving. This is another debate I had. Is Kyrie versus Jalen Brunson? Um, I'm putting Kyrie below, right below Jalen. I think Kyrie and Jalen Brunson, in terms of like, if you did a 2K overall, they're probably right on top of each other. Uh, Kyrie's been playing really well in his postseason, but so is Jalen Brunson. So. You know, I I would take Jalen Brunson over Kyrie at the moment because you know, not only is he really good at scoring, playing well, is carrying a very injured Knicks team, but also his leadership is outstanding, or at least better than Kyrie Irving's. So that's that's what I'm putting. Um, Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is a low end star player. Now, when he gets to the postseason, he plays like a high end star, even superstar. But he's not a he never made he hasn't made an All Star team, so obviously he's not a perennial All Star. But his outstanding play in the postseason has made him it puts him on this list is he better than tyrese halliburton <laughs> like it, 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 i'm not gonna be nasty i'm gonna say i mean tyrese is better than than jamal murray but jamal murray in the postseason is better than tyrese but if i had to pick someone to play like start my team with i'm not taking jamal murray i'm taking tyrese halliburton over him so that's that um, Carl Anthony Towns is definitely very interesting as well because, like, I mean, I, I'll put him at high end star. I will put him at high end star, but like his postseason, he drops in the postseason. I think I'm putting him as the worst out of all these guys on the in the high end. In the, I'm putting him as the worst because I just I don't know. Like he he's a really good like he's a guy that honestly, I don't know. I might not even put him. I might put him at low end star. I don't know. I'm gonna put you at low end star. Cause he, he, the way he performs in the postseason is just like so meddling. He had a he had a good round one, but round two, I don't know. He's not doing much, and I don't know, man. Like, I th I don't think he's better than Tyrese Halliburton, and is he better than Jamal Murray? I guess, but like, yeah, I don't know. Like when he carried a team, nothing happened. I'm I'm putting you at the bottom. I'm sorry, and uh, Rudy Gobert. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You know, I'm put you there too. Like his defense is so good, but then there's always like, I don't know. It's just I don't see it. I don't see it. like I see it. I see the I see the impact, but then we get to this series and it's just like his offense is so mediocre and not even mediocre, just not existent. That it and it's really hard. And it is and to me, he doesn't feel like he's a four-time defensive player of the year. You don't feel like it. You know, if you're a four-time defensive player of the year, you're like, bro, this guy is just otherworldly. But to me, it's just like he's. He gets it because he's it's easy to give it to him, right? It's just like, yeah, he's who else can we give it to? Honestly, Weapon Yama honestly had a pretty good uh case, but his team didn't win enough games. So um last but not least, we have Donovan Mitchell here. And Donovan Mitchell has been playing outstanding in this postseason. Honestly, I'd put him I know where to put him. I'll put him right here in this high end star. Right in the middle here. I don't think he's good at shape. I think he's better than Jalen Brunson, Kyrie, and Jalen Brown. Okay, so this is my list. Um, so Nicole Jokic is best, Luca after that, Jason Tatum, Anthony Edwards, Shea, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brunson, Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Tyrese, Jamal, Carl, and Rudy. If I was to start a team and you had to tell me, I think that's the order of things. Um, to me. Like if I was to pick a player and in, in this list, like pick a player in a draft or something, I think that'd be it. So these are the best players in the postseason currently playing right now. This is my order of how, you know, the best to the worst out of these guys in terms of the stars. And hey, for more tier lists like this, make sure to like this video. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, 
and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.